Alrighty hey guys, welcome back to the Hearts Football Manager 2021 Career Mode Rente Season 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 And it is this the season that we're finally going to break that curse and finish above 4th place We've been in the Scottish Premiership now 3 seasons on the trot and we've finished 4th every single time we just cannot seem to break into the top three. This, though, has to be the season. We've made a lot of changes. I've brought in a lot of players. Undoubtedly, this is the busiest we've ever been in a transfer window. There will be a lot of players leaving the club as well. There's already been a few loaned out. But I do expect at least three or four people to either go out on loan or to be sold before the end of the transfer window. Now, we do have a bunch of Betfred Cup games coming up since we are in the group stage. And as much as I want to secure that we get a secure passage into the next round, I am going to experiment with different formations, different individuals, different lineups, different tactics in these Betfred Cup games. So I am trying to win, obviously, the Betfred Cup and top our group. But I am going to use it to experiment, guys, because I feel like... I feel like things towards the end of last season got stale. You know, we just could not buy a win. We couldn't score a goal. And I want to try a few different tactics. I want to try a few different formations. Who knows? We might stick with the one we were using last season. But I feel like we need to at least try something different. In our group, we've got Queen's Park, East Colbride, Edinburgh City and Partick Thistle. If we cannot top that group or at least get second place and qualify from that group, then then we just don't deserve to be in the next round, guys. It really is that simple. Now, let's have a look at the players, then, that we've brought in. Um, let's see <laughs> what the, you make of these uh, signings. So, well, there's some came in at the end of last season, some came in at the start of this season. So, first, obviously, uh, we signed Phil Caldwell from Dunfermline on a free. He finally joined up on the ninth. We then signed Jamie Hamilton, the former Hamilton player, went to Aston Villa. It didn't really work out for him at Aston Villa. We'll have a quick look at his career stats down there. Um, so he played four games in the Premiership, then one game in the Sky Bet Championship. He just didn't really have the success there since it leading the Scottish Premiership. Didn't play regularly. And we managed to get him back for 500k. I think he's going to improve a hell of a lot. I think there's a lot left in the tank. So I am looking forward to getting Jamie Hamilton into this team. Now, by no means, he will not be probably starting. But like I said, I am going to try and use him in games as much as possible. Like the Betfred Cup, for me, he has to be in there. Up next, we've got Dylan Tate, a guy I've been trying to sign for a while. Now, albeit I could not get him on a transfer, but we have managed to bring him in on loan for a season. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. Um, and who knows, it could be a try before you buy kind of deal. And if he does well, then we will try and secure his, you know, services. If he doesn't, then I guess there's no harm done. He goes, he can go back to Norwich. But, uh, like I said, Norwich did buy him last season. They, they then decided to uh, loan him out to Hamilton, who he played 34 games for. So he obviously did pretty well with them. But uh, we're going to see how he does now in a heart shot. So Dylan Tate is in. Uh, next signing, a little bit controversial, we've got Cammy Logan on loan. Now remember, Cammy Logan started this series as a Hearts player. Unfortunately for us, our, his contract ran out. He didn't want to sign a new one. And he, he left us. He left on a free to Newcastle. I was absolutely gutted about it. But since then, Newcastle have signed Nathan Patterson from Rangers on a free. And they loan listed Cammy Logan. Now... We have a great right back. Jordan Nisamana is the number one right back. There's no doubt about that. But I felt like we did need a backup, uh, you know, right back. And I thought Cammy Logan was the guy to come in. So, we've signed Cammy Logan on loan. The wages are a bit high. I'm not going to lie, 4.5k. But I feel like, again, it's another try before you buy. We don't know how much this guy has improved since he left us. So... If he does well this season, then perhaps we'll try and bring him back. You know, we'll try and get him on a permanent deal. Because he is, he is happy, apparently, to be back here. He loves it here. Don't know why he left in the first place. But uh, we'll see what happens. If not, then it's a, we can consider it, you know, 
a waste of a loan deal, but I am happy to have Cammy Logan back for the meantime. Uh, and then another signing we got, this time on loan. Having to pay a wee bit of money for this guy, but uh, I think he will be worth it. Armstrong Oakle Flex, an Irish man. He's 22 years old. He's got 36 under-21 caps with 10 under-21 goals. Uh, currently plays for Sofia. He can play up front. He can play out wide, either on the right or on the left. I think this guy is going to be phenomenal now. He has been playing for the Sofia C and B team. He's, he's yet to feature for the main team, but you can see... Uh, they paid 1.6 million to sign him from Celtic a couple of years ago, and since then, uh, both seasons he's played for Sofia's uh, C and B team. He's averaged over a seven, you know, rating, which is actually not easy to do. So fair play to him, Armstrong Uncle Flex, and perhaps if he does well with us, maybe we could try and sign him at the end. He is a bit expensive, but you never know. Maybe we could try and get him. Uh, let's see then. Then we moved on to the new season and we managed to get a couple more players. And so Mikel Rosia, or Riosa, Mikel Riosa was signed from Lazio, 21 year old Italian. Um, could be a decent player. We just needed another backup striker, I felt. Uh, he will keep Shankland and Avalabi hopefully on their toes. And now, since they're not firing on all cylinders last season, we've actually got someone to give a chance. Because I felt like apart from those two strikers, we didn't have anybody. So even though they weren't scoring goals, I didn't feel like we could drop them because, you know, we didn't really have anybody to replace them with. But now we've got this guy in, and he could become a star in the future. So I think as much game time will help him. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what Mikel Ro Riosa can do in a heart shot. We then signed Andre Hoffman from FC Augsburg on a free. Solid player. Really experienced German. Uh, I think he's going to be solid. He's valued at 2.4 million. He's an important player in the prime of his career. And I think he will go straight into the team. And I expect him to be partner and suitor. And uh, we will see what happens, guys. We will take it for there. But I am expecting a good partnership between him and Big John. Uh, but who knows? Like, he will have to earn his place. And then we signed Carol Hampel for 59k. An 18-year-old Czech Republican regen who... i just seen his stats and I thought, we have to have this guy. He's valued at 825k. I think this guy is going to be phenomenal. Yes, we're paying him 4.8k a week in wages, but, I mean, look at his stats already. I think this guy is going to be the next big thing. He's more or less used as a centre midfielder, but he can play out on the right, and I'm excited to see this Carol Hampel guy in action. Now, in terms of players that have left the club, uh, just a bunch of loonies there. Obviously, we know Michael Smith left at the end of last season. He went to Linfield on a free. Jay Sandinson left. He went to Ayr on a free, and then since the new season started, a few lone players, Harry Cochrane back out on loan to AFC Wimbledon, Connor Smith out on loan to Swindon, and Dean Campbell out on loan to Barnsley. I feel like this is the make or break year for these kind of players, you know, if they don't perform, if they don't improve and show that they've got the quality, you know, to be starting games for us now, if it doesn't happen this season, I don't think it will ever happen, guys, you know, so I'm looking forward to see how they get on, but that is the players that we have brought in, I think we've made a tremendous, uh, you know, improvement, I think we've made a big step forward in the transfer market, but now it is all about delivering on the pitch, we need to make it work, if you look at our squad depth, um, this is currently playing a, a 4 2 4, or what about the we play the gem press? So, I mean, you can see here that squad depth is actually looking pretty good. Now, I do have one more position I actually want to get before the window ends. I do believe that we need a cam, I do want to try and get a cam, someone just to play in behind, uh, just in front of the striker and behind the striker, or whatever. So, I mean, Lewis Ferguson can play that role, but I don't think it's his best role, and I think Jimmy Walker. Like I said, he is probably on the decline now. I am looking to offload Kel McAllister. I'm looking to offload Alan Forrest. So we definitely need somebody in that cam role. So that is the only position that we're really looking for. Obviously, if someone else pops up that we just cannot refuse, then we will try to sign them. But in terms of, you know, act actively searching for players, I think it's just that one, you know, player in that cam position that we're looking for, guys. So like I said, We've made a good start in terms of the transfers. It's now time to get into our first game. Hopefully, we can deliver. We're taking on Queen's Park. And, uh, yeah, big, massive game for us here. Uh, we're going to 
well, like I said, we're going to mess about with tactics. I think with this game, we're going to try this 4-2-4. Four, four. And now picking the team, this is... Uh, oh, man, it could this could be... It's hard to choose here, it really is. Let me see. Uh, McCrory's not fully fit. We've got Jordan Archer, who's actually not played bad in pre-season. Harry Stone, though, is looking pretty good. You know what? I think we're actually going to give Harry Stone a chance here. Uh, he's actually three stars, so yeah, Harry Stone, I think, will come in. Uh, we'll give him a chance. I think we're going to put in Jamie Hamilton. We want him in there. Maybe in beside Suter. Or do we play Jamie Hamilton there? Uh, maybe we'll play... That's... Yeah, we'll play Jamie Hamilton in there. I will give a start to Andre Hoffman, the new centre-back. We're going to play Nell Hugens at left-back. Give him a chance there. See what he does. Um, we will play Cammy Logan. Well, actually, we won't play Cammy Logan because he's injured, right? Okay, fuck. So that takes that out of the equation for us. We will not be playing uh, Cammy Logan. Uh, in terms of the midfield, who are we going to deep line playmaker? Let me see here. Hample could perhaps play. Hample, where can Hample play? We'll play Hample as a deep line playmaker. Oko Flex out in the wing. Liam Smith will play as a will play as a inside forward, I guess. He can be on attack. Uh Avalabi as a false nine. Shanklin then as a poacher. Uh, is Dylan Tate. Actually we might not play Shanklin. We're gonna play Riosa. We're gonna give Riosa a chance and we'll play him as an advanced forward. Uh I like to get have an opportunity. Maybe Dylan Tate, did we give him a game instead of maybe Ferguson? We could play him there. I think we will do that. And uh, you can see it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a fresh lineup here. It's an unfamiliar team that we're going with. And I think that is probably going to do it. Like I said, a lot of players injured at the moment. A lot of players I'm expecting to be shipped out on loan or whatever. But I think that's the team we're going to go with. Jamie Hamilton. Is there no room for... Yeah, we want Jamie Hamilton playing. Yeah, so Jamie Hamilton's coming in. And uh, boom, guys, that is it. That is going to be the team then. So it's going to be Stone, Hugens, Hoffman, Hamilton, Jordan Nizamana, Tate, Hample, Smith, Ocoflex, Avalabi, and Riosa up front. And uh, like I said, there will be lots of changes getting made. This is just we're going to experiment in the Bet Fed Cup. So Hoffman needs a number. We'll give you... Jesus Christ, we'll give you number 38. Hample needs a number. We'll give you, we'll give you thirty nine. And Mikel Riosa needs a number. You know he's a striker. Maybe we should give him number ten. Have a bit of confidence in this Italian lad. Maybe he's going to be a, you know, our main striker in the future. So yeah, we will give him that number ten jersey. So I don't plan on bringing another striker in anyway. So he can have that. And there, uh, obviously, is Queens Park's team. Their manager David Hopkins will be looking. To try and get a win against us. To try and start off their season. But uh, we're going to make sure it doesn't happen. Hands on hips. Um, we should be winning this one fairly comfortable. Play your game and we'll get the job done. And let's go guys. First game of the season. I want to make an impact here. I want to get the win. But I want to see how the new players start. And how they get off in their hearts career. Like I said we've made massive changes this season. Lots of players coming in. I mean, you look at the team, it's it's mass it's changed massively since last season. And there's a lot of expectation on these players. So we need them to step up. We need them to deliver. And hopefully they can. Jordan with the throw in. Throws it to Dylan Tate. Dylan Tate then back to Hamilton. Who is uh, hopefully enjoying his time back in Scotland. Hample out to Avalabi who slots it through to Liam Smith. Oh, what a save for Hegarty. But come on, Liam Smith. You have to score that, son. We've just, we signed you Man City and you can't score that. Unbelievable. He will take the corner though. Liam Smith, can he get a good delivery into the box? It's headed away for Humphreys. And Liam Smith will allow that one to go out for a throw in. So, poor stuff there, man. Should have took the lead in the first uh, first seven minutes. But unfortunately, was not to be. Edinburgh City though have taken the lead in our group. They currently go top. They are defeating East Kilbride at the moment. But uh, no, East Kilbride have equalised. So it's 1-1 in that game. Pretty tight then in our group. Four teams on one point. Not a lot in it. 
got Airdrie are beating Bonnie Rig Rose. You've got Morton are beating St. Rar by two goals to nil. Queen is South drawn with Stenhouse Muir. And Edinburgh City retake the lead. It's sort of Ross Gunn in the 18th minute where they go, oh, what a sliding challenge there for Dylan Tate. Hamilton will track back to collect it. Then Jimmy Hamilton plays it into Jordan. Jordan finds Hample. And let's see what this new guy can do. Hample to Tate. The new guy's playing with it at the moment. Passing it around, having fun. Hoffman, another new guy. Uh, Hugens, a, new, a guy that was signed last season, halfway through the season. So lots of new faces here at the moment. It's Dylan Tate. Dylan Tate to Liam Smith. Liam Smith! Oh, tried to finesse it into the top bins there. The top left-hand corner of the net. Don't know if the goalkeeper had it covered or not. He tried to get for it, but uh, obviously he wasn't on target. So he didn't need to get anything on it. But I wonder could he have kept that out. Had it been on target, interesting to see. 28 minutes in, six shots for us. It's Hugens with the throw in. Throws it down towards Riosa. Riosa is Riosa. Michelle Riosa to Dylan Tate. Dylan Tate loses it, but Hampel there chests it down. Wins it back. Hampel, what a ball that is to Oko Flex, who heads it off the crossbar, man. Jesus. Cannot get the goal here. Half an hour in, it's still nil nil. We're all over Queen's Park, which you would expect us to be. Come on. I mean, they are in what, the League 1? League 2, maybe? I don't think that it, it wouldn't be any higher than League 1, I don't believe. Dylan Tate then. Cray kick, heads it back post. It's Hoffman, it's blocked again. And we just cannot seem to put the ball in the back of the net here, man. What do we have to do? Unbelievable scenes here. We're trying our best to get a goal, but it's just no happening at the moment. It's still Queen's Park now, Hearts now. My God. Edinburgh City then, like I said, they are 2-1 up. They are currently top of this group. Jordan with a throw into Avalabi, who comes uh, comes deep to collect the ball. Comes short. Jordan now charging forward. Still Jordan. He plays it to Hample. Hample. Hample looking for somebody, looking for anybody. Hamilton, Jamie Hamilton now. Plays a nice ball out to Occo Flex. Occo Flex will keep it in. Occo Flex whips it in. It's cleared away by boys. And it's uh, going to fall for Jamie Hamilton again here as we look to make something happen with seven minutes to go in this first half. Occo Flex to Tate. Tate to Hample. Uh, Occo Flex now picks it up. He's coming into the central position of the, the park. Hample back it to Occo Flex. Brings it down well. Plays it into Michael Rios. It's blocked. It's going to fall for Liam Smith. He can't get a shot away and it's still... Hearts nil, Queen's Park nil. My God, 11 shots to zero, and they're still in this game. They're still in this game, man. Unbel unreal. And now they've got a corner. Queen's Park is possible, whips it in. It's headed towards goal, and it's off the ball, crossbar. My God, Humphreys rattles the crossbar. I'd been absolutely sick had we conceded it there. It's been all hearts. It's been complete domination for us, yet they almost took the lead. They've got another corner, possible. Whips another ball, and it's, oh, is it the goalkeeper Stones? Oh, my God, Stones just about keeps it out there. What the fuck is happening here? Harry Stone denying Queen's Park, and they're making a, <laughs> they're making a last-ditch attempt to try and score here before half-time. Another corner this time, Possel. Whips it in again, and Stone comes and collects it, and that should see us at the half-time then, guys. I cannot believe that, you know, we're, we're the ones that want to see the half-time whistle here. After dominating the first half, Queen's Park coming back at the end there. And uh, we need to... We need to... I don't know what we're going to do here. Hands on hips. Go out there and... Uh, let's see. Um, unlucky boys. Things haven't gone right. I th yeah, I don't want to be too harsh. Because like, we have dominated this game. But, but at the same time, we're currently drawn against Queen's Park. That's just not good enough. And we'll go a wee bit more direct, I guess. We're going to work the ball into the box here. And we're going to shout. We are going to demand more, I believe, yeah. We're going to demand more because at the moment, not a lot happening. So, demand more. So, another f f corner this time. Pozo again whips it in. Headed towards goal this time. Agonizingly just past the post. We're also going to go into attack in here. To see if we can try and get back into this game. Because <laughs> since about the 40th minute, we've not done much. Let's be real, we haven't done much. Airdrie then, 3-1 up against Bonnie Rigg Rose. 
Still in our group, it's Edinburgh City leading East Colbride by two goals to one. Jardine and Gunn getting the goals there for Edinburgh City. And we are actually going to make some subs now here because we're <laughs> 29 minutes remaining. Um, we're going to... Uh, who can we bring on? Who's playing okay? Jonathan Avalabi. We'll bring on Shankland. Uh, Liam Smith. We're going to... We'll bring on Forrest. And uh, Dylan Tate's having a good game, so I don't really want to take him off. Uh, I'll take off Niall Huggins and we'll bring on... Or will we bring on... What will we do here? We'll play Jordan as a man there. And we'll bring on Jordan Suter to play right back. But we're going to put him on attack. Boom. And um, maybe Lawrence... Uh, what can we put... What can we put Lauren Shankland on? Pressing forward. Pressing forward on attack as well. Boom. So we've done that. We've made the changes. Occo Flex now has the ball. It's Occo Flex. Surely. Oh, he tries to cross it in. It took a block. Couldn't beat his first man. We do win the corner. But can we make anything happen from it? We've made the changes now. And you can see Queen's Park have come into this game. as we, You know, the more we get into it, Queen's Park are having more success. It's free kick now for Queen's Park. Riley, ball launched it. Oh my god, it's boys. It's disallowed. Thank God for that. <laughs> it's boys there at the uh the back post. Totally unmarked. Uh we need to shout at this team because at the moment this just ain't happening. We need to berate them because we should be winning this. There's no doubt in my mind that we should be winning this. And we're gonna go on ferry attacking now. And we're going to go as direct as possible. So let's see if we can try and snatch a winner here. I'm no happy with how things have panned out so far. But I mean, first half, I was happy. But we just hadn't, didn't get the goal. But performance-wise, I was happy. But uh, second half, it's just not really been good enough. Occo Flexo. What can he do? He's going to chop. Oh, he's been brought down by Pozzo. But the referee's playing advantage. They're Dylan Tate now taking the ball into the Queen's Park half. It's Dylan Tate, still Dylan Tate going, he's got Suter, who out wide, who plays a great ball into it, Mikael Riosa, oh my god, Riosa man, Mikael Riosa, ball comes through to him, six yard box, and he still can't score man, Forrest whips a corner in, it's headed away by Humphreys, 15 minutes remain, good sliding challenge there, uh, do we have any more subs, I don't know, Many can you make in the... I don't know how many you can make in the cup. I don't know if we can make any, to be fair. No, you can't. So you can only make three. And we've used all our three, so... Now it's just up to them. It is up to them. And we need something to happen here. We're going to fire them up. Come on, lads. Ten minutes to go. Give us a good... Give us a good ending here to this game. Come on. Come on. It's going to be Jordan in with the throw. He's got an injury. Picked up a slight injury. I'm not too happy about that. Hopefully he's not out for a while. It's Hoffman. Hoffman launches a ball. It took a flex. It's Shankland on. Oh, Shankland just puts it past the post. Ah, oh, man. Ian Wilson has come on for Queen's Park. Seven minutes to go. We need to find a goal. We need to find it now. If we are going to win this game. Hoffman there. Beaten in the air. But the ball falls to Jordan. He plays it back to Harry Stone. Who hasn't had much to do today, but it, hey, he's kept a clean sheet and that will surely help his confidence. Jordan then launches it up. Mikael Riosa hits it to Shanklin. Shanklin to off through to Alan Forrest. This is surely it. Alan Forrest chips the keeper and hits the crossbar. No way. Absolutely no way, man. How have we no scored here? What do we have to do? This just cannot be right, man. It can't be right. We just cannot seem to get a goal that will put us in front here. We've tried everything, we've huffed and puffed, but we just can't blow the door after Queen's Park hinges, but we need it to happen now. We've got penalties going on in the Sterling game, and it looks like we'll be going to penalties. It looks like we'll be going to penalties, and we will. God damn it, right, here we go. Complacent, complacent. You know, we're going to let Hoffman take the first one. Tricky, yes, but uh, I think that's what we'll do. So Hoffman is going to take number one. Uh, well, Alan Forrest, number two. We'll let... I'm going to let Suter take one. We're going to let Mikael Riosa take one. 
We're going to let... Uh, we're going to let Jamie Hamilton take one. But I think we want Hoffman. I want Hoffman to take the first one. I want... Uh, let me see here. Probably Suter to be on the fifth one. Uh, and I know I've got three defenders taking penalties, but I have my reasoning. <laughs> um, and who else can take one? Sh I guess Shankland. It's sad that Shankland's going this low down. Let me see here. Shankland, you can be... You can be... Shankland's going to be there then. So John, we'll let John Suter go up. No, we'll let Hoffman go, can go first. And we'll take it. I'm going to let Suter go fifth. So that is it, guys. And we'll let Dylan Tate go sixth. There you go. Boom. That is us then. <laughs> Getting ready for the penalty shootout. Let's do this. Let's try to relax. And just try and, just try and score more penalties than them. And we'll win. Here we go. First up is the new signing, Andre Hoffman. He's kept a clean sheet here. We're letting the centre back take a penalty, and he doesn't let us down. He scores. He gets his first goal for Hearts. You know it may not count because it's coming in penalties and not like open play, but we'll take it. He'll take it. He gives us a lead here in this uh, penalty shootout. Bishop, great save for Stone. Stone saves it. It's one now. Hearts in after the first round of penalties. Now is Jamie Halden stepping up here? Another defender. Have I made the right decisions here? I was criticised. I felt. By Dana, and on Jamie Hallinan puts it in, so, so far two defenders for Hearts and two goals, uh, and two good goals. Hoffman placed it in, picked his, uh, picked where he wanted to put the ball, but Jamie Hallinan's blasted it in there. Harrison now, oh he puts it in as well, so Queen's Park back in this one, it's 2-1 now. They needed that to go in, and it did go in, now it's the new striker, Mikel Riosa. Can he score? Can he make it 3-1 Hearts? He can. He can. Calmly done. Three penalties for Hearts, three goals. And you feel that Queen's Park just cannot afford to miss one. If they miss one, it will surely be over. Is it boys? He puts it in as well. Sends Harry Stone the wrong way. So still only that first penalty missed by Queen's Park that is deciding it. Now Alan Forrest, here we go. A guy that we weren't sure about. A guy that we weren't sure should take one. We're going to see if we were right. Oh my god, we weren't right. He blasts it in. Alan Forrest then hand, fist pumping. He seems content with that. He seems happy with that. And if we save this next penalty, guys, it is all over. It is all over. Harry Stone can win the shootout here for Hearts. All he has to do is keep this ball at the back of the net. It's going to be Pozo, the guy that took all the corners. The corner kick taker then steps up for Queen's Park. Pressure's on him. He needs to score. He needs to score. He does score. He makes it 4-3. And now it is going to be, I believe, John Suter to win it for Hearts. The captain. Could it be any more fitting? Can John Suter get his two points here in this Betfred Cup group game? He's taking a pretty slow walk. He's beginning to jog now. He's wasted enough time. Let's just put this in the back of the net, Suter, and go home. Come on. There he is, it's John Suit. Oh, he's hit the post. I don't believe it, the captain. The captain has hit the post. The ball bounces out. And Queen's Park now have got a chance to equalise it and take this to sudden death, man. Are you shitting me? Big John Suter, man. Big John. We actually brought him on as a sub. And he's, he's missed the penalty. Here we go, Trafford. It's Trafford. Travert, Felsies, Stone, and Stone. Oh, man, Stone should have saved that. It was right at him. It was effectively right at him. Now it's Dylan Tate. Another new signing. Can Dylan Tate, then, give Hearts the advantage in the sudden death? He can. He puts it in the back of the net. And now the pressure back on Queen's Park here. Who will be next up for them? Who's it going to be? Keeper then, Harry Stone making his way back into the goals. It's going to be Duffy. It's not fucking Shane Duffy. I wish it, I wish it was Shane Duffy. There's the ambulance in the background. It's very fitting for it to be Shane Duffy. But here we go. It's Duffy. His teammates can he watch. He puts it in though, past Stone. Slots at home. 5-5 five, five now after 6. And there is Lawrence Shankland. The guy that didn't feel comfortable. He felt complacent. Was there a reason for that? 
Oh, and the keeper got something on it, but Shankland is a lucky boy there. I mean, he said he made no mistake, but the keeper definitely got something on that. He just couldn't keep it out, and Shankland, though, puts us on six. It's going to be low coming forward this time. Queen's Park trying to equalise the shootout. It's going to be low. Low must score. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post and Hearts have done it. We've made hard work of this. We've made it a lot more difficult than it should have been. But we've got the job done in the end there. I felt like we had a solid game, but we should be winning that. Jamie Hamilton was the best performer. With a 7.7. 7. Uh, it was a good win, boys. Well done. Uh, I feel I, I can't. I don't want to go through them since we played so well in that first half. It, we're just unlucky. We could have scored three or four. If we're being honest, um, the game is over. I don't want to discuss it, discuss it anymore. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Jamie Hamilton, impressive on return to Scottish football. And uh, we pick up the two points there. Jordan Archer has agreed to leave the club and join Dundee United. He's happy leaving Hearts following his transfer listing. Jordan Archer's loan to Dundee United can now be completed. We'll go ahead and we'll accept that. Bye-bye, Jordan Archer. We'll make a parting comment. And that's it. Jordan Archer's away then. Hearts win the shootout. Uh, Jordan is a man injured for two days. Shankland remains upbeat despite gold drought. Yeah, I mean, come on. Shankland, it's about time. You need to start scoring, guys. Come on to Fox Shankland. You're, you're doing this bad here. Anyway, that is it. We'll be back for the last Betfred Cup group game against Partick Thistle. Uh, it's, uh, it's likely that we'll need to beat them to top of the group. So that's what we'll be back for. We're going to play East Kilbride and Edinburgh City off screen. I will tamper with the lineups. I'll tamper with the formations. I'll tamper with the tactics. And then we'll be back for the Partick Thistle game. And then it's either going to be Bodo or glimped in the Europa Cup 2 League Path qualifying second round leg. We've got Rangers again to kick off the season with, followed by Hibs. We always seem to get difficult starts to the season, then we're always on the back foot. But who knows, maybe we can put, beat Rangers and put them on the back foot for a change. But anyway, guys, that's it. Start of Season 5. Would I like the more impressive win? It wasn't to be. We'll try and get East Kilbride next time. But until then, I've been the Scotland 90. Thanks for watching, and peace.